Have you ever not really fancied someone, but they then got a girlfriend and then you were like, oh shit, now I feel like I suddenly do fancy you? Um, I think so. Like my first boyfriend when I was younger, so we're talking like I was 14. I was living for a few years and I remember we broke up and he got a new girlfriend or like was dating someone new mm -hmm. after a while and I just could not could not handle it. So I you... became just like psycho, just like wouldn't leave him alone. Just like bombarding him, being like, let's get back together. Remember when we were together? That was good, wasn't it? But you didn't mean it right. You just yeah, wanted it. Yeah, and because... then we did get back together for a bit. And then I was like, oh. Yeah, I'm over it now. Yeah. It's so bad, isn't it? Like, it... I don't know why our brains do that. I don't know either. It's like that chase factor where it's just so exciting. But then when you have it, you're like... Oh, I don't know. I done. think for me, it's like, maybe it's a bit of an ego thing. I'm like, no, you're still supposed to love me forever. Yeah, like you're <laughs> so, like I expect all my ex-boyfriends to still be in love with me. Oh, I'm sure they are. <laughs> I, I'm sure. I mean, I'm sure they're they not. <laughs> but you know, just like that, like oh no, oh you love someone else now? No, mean. Even though I'm married with two kids, <laughs> don't like it. I think it's normal. I think it's. I. I think everybody feels like that. Yeah, Are like you want them to be happy. Yeah, you be wish happy, well. but just don't ever get over me. No, yeah, don't ever get over me. Yeah. Okay. Well, <laughs> we're gonna. Psycho. <laughs> we're gonna talk to our guests a little bit about <laughs> yeah. this. We have the lovely Austin and the lovely Elliot. Hi, boys. How are we? All good. All good How's yeah. life? Everything okay? Yeah. I feel like you've got some stories for us. Yeah. Juicy. Yeah, juicy, mm -hmm. juicy stories. Before we go there, we ask a couple of questions. So if we start with you first, what would you say your green flags are when you look for a relationship or a just a date? What do you look for? What do you go for? Uh, there's got to be just like the back and forth. Otherwise, I don't know, like, yeah, just like good vibes, good energy. Otherwise, I don't know. Like, I like to bounce, bounce off of them, basically, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah. a flow in conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, if it's just dead and you're just kind of, you, like, you shouldn't be overthinking what you're saying. You should literally just, like, it should just flow. Yeah. Like, yeah, mm. literally, yeah. Good one. And Austin? Oh, God. Um, oh, so many. So <laughs> many green flags. I'm so, like... Um, all the green flags. All the green flags. I think if someone's, like, has that kindness and that, that kindness, not just to you, to other people, like your friends, when they get on with other people, mm. and they just have that, like loving warm nature someone who's really charming and it's that's kind of gone yeah. against it in the in the past but someone who's just yeah loving and charming, charming yeah. but like yeah because genuine genuine, genuine charm. and charming yeah yeah, yeah yeah for sure for sure mm. so that's good manners basically yeah yeah decent human yeah, yeah. not much I think, to ask I think tick yeah, yeah. Think so? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so then what would be like an ick for you elliot oh it's when she's oh, i don't know if she's not willing to kind of do little things like, um, I don't know, like, you know, when people just kind of, I don't know, like, I like to do little things, basically. Like, I like to do little things that will make people smile, shit like that. Uh, so uh, if, I don't know, if she's not... Like what? Like, what's an example? I don't know, like, not that I'm, like, romantic, but, like, I don't know, like... Thoughtful. Oh, you can say yeah, romantic, it's good. If, yeah, if she's not thoughtful, basically, like, if she's not, I don't know, yeah... Giving it like that, considerate, yeah, considerate, your... giving like gentle, I guess, like giving it that little bit of an oomph as well, like keen, like yeah, yeah. I'm trying to work out because I yeah. Have um, you ever heard of like love languages? Yeah, I was just thinking that. As yeah, well. so it sounds like oh, I know what you mean. It's yeah, wor not words like of affirmation. Like acts of service. That's like you it. like yeah. someone that would like maybe like leave yeah. you a little gift on the side and say like have a good day at work and then yeah, they yeah, go. Yeah, yeah I get that. Yeah. Okay. I like stuff like that. So yours is acts of service then. Serve me. <laughs> me. <laughs> okay. What, what about you, Austin? Red flag. Yeah. Um, no, I'm an like ick. Oh, oh, an ick. Oh, an ick. 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 Yeah, right, yeah. an ick. Um, it might sound a bit broad, but someone who's just like not cool. I don't know. Someone who just hasn't got that kind you of. Define cool because I'm feeling very uncool right now. I'm looking at your nails, thinking <laughs> I know. I am the least I'm cool person in this room. Yeah. 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 Oh, thanks. I'm, I'm glad we dressed the same because I feel like we're in the same boat. It's the vibe, right? Yeah. Cool, cool. I people. don't know. It sounds oh, yeah. someone who's just kind of, I don't know, someone who's kind of really just chill, has doesn't get like too flustered or like has their, basically someone who's got their shit together, 
Because yeah. like when seeing someone like flustered and like panicky, that's normally me. Like, who's gonna look after us if this is the so like situation? someone that's kind of like happy within themselves, maybe. Yeah, someone who's like comfortable and that kind of. Mm. Like. Your rock, yeah. like they're the rock. Yeah, just yeah, someone who's yeah, cool. Yeah. Like if someone's just not cool, it sounds so shallow and so bad, but I just want someone that's gonna no, be like not at all, just cool. And also that it's like <laughs> there's, there's something sexy about someone who's relaxed, right? It kind yes, of like oozes totally. confidence. You're like, oh, how are you so relaxed in this situation? I I, mm. I do get what you mean. Anyway, should we get to the stories? Yeah, let's start with you, Austin. So what's your story? What's been going on? Give us some context. Give us some background. God. So this is stories about my first boyfriend. So from when I was like 17 to we broke up when we were, I was like 20. So it was like a good three and a bit years. Was this yeah. your first boyfriend? My first boyfriend, first like gay love. It's kind of how I came out to my parents. Oh, it, wow. I mean, they knew, like they knew. But they, <laughs> they <laughs> it knew. was just kind of like, oh, my mom was like, oh, is your friend Bob coming over? I was like... <laughs> I was like, it's my boyfriend, mom. Like, Aww. it was really cute. So the relationship kind of meant a lot to me. It was kind of like he taught me a lot of things about myself. Um, because he lived in Bristol, by the way. Let me because it was a bit of a long distance relationship. Right. And uh, we see each other every weekend or so still. And it was really good for about a year or so, year and a half ish. And then things just started feeling off and started to feel really weird between us. Like what? What did you notice? Like I don't know. Just you know, you just could tell something's not right with yeah. someone. Like yeah. something changed. Their behavior is different, mm -hmm. and it it was different. And I blamed myself. I was so upset, so insecure. And I was like, oh, "It's me. I'm the problem. I'm the yeah. issue." And then one day, his ex partner messaged me, like, "Hey, just so you know, Bob's been messaging me the past few months. Like having based having like a romantic, like sexual kind of affair. Like I guess over like social media. Right. And I was like." The, you know when it's that heart drop mm. it was it was horrible horrible feeling I was like wow and it was so scary like it was such like a scary feeling as well because it's like a reality check yeah mm -hmm. and also kind of a cemented all the feelings that you'd been kind of right, thinking exactly. oh this is all in my head or this is all my fault and now you're like ah oh. very very weird time it just allowed me to live that so at that moment I kind of left work I was like guys I need to go and then went home and I was like I need to see him I'm gonna drive and see him so I drove into Bristol in a bit of like a I'd say a rage. Mm -hmm. I turned around yeah. a few times. I was crying, listening to them angry songs on the <laughs> on my Why iPhone. Why do we do that? I was like, you know, it's kind of it's kind of fierce. I was kind of driving the motorway, like slowly crying a little bit. But the windows <laughs> down, angry songs like music video. <laughs> yeah, literally, it was it was kind of it was kind of fun, I guess, in a way. <laughs> <laughs> so I got there, I was like ten minutes from his house, pulled over, touched myself up, make myself sure I look good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got there, like walked in, and I was like, hi, and he's like, hi, when's give me a hug? I was like, we need to talk. Tears broke down. Not me. He was right. He was Bob. I was like, "What are you doing?" Like, and then it kind of he was like, oh, "I'm sorry, like I don't know." Just ever since I can't even remember what he said. You know, I think I started um, going to college. I was like 18 or 19. He was like, oh, "Ever since this, you kind of just felt like you were really distant." Or that stuff. I was like, "No, so he's no, blaming no, no, you no. again." Yeah, I was like, "Don't blame me." Like, and he told me that there was like five other guys who Whoa. that he'd like been doing a similar thing to. All right. I was at this point. I was like, "I'm done." Like, I don't. I don't, I can't do this. You made me feel like shit. You made me believe it was me who'd done all this. And now you want to like carry on. And then kind of a week went by and I was like, do you know what? I do have a lot of love for this boy. And I don't think he's a bad person. I just think he's an idiot. And we kind of then carried on the relationship from there. I know, I know. And it, it's, uh, it's so much worse. Um, oh God. <laughs> I know, it gets <laughs> worse than that. Okay. Of course it does, of course. So was he like all back on, like full on, back to how he was before when you yeah, kind of forgave like, him? Yeah. Yeah, it's that chase in it. It's like mm. for the moment he realized I didn't want him. He was, he was like, oh my god, no! I need to, I yeah. need you to have, I need so you to want me. The effort. And yeah. Was he like whatever. apologetic? Was he remorseful? Was he like, I'm really sorry. I understand what I've done wrong. I want you back because I, I like he understood what he'd done, right? Yeah, for okay. sure. And I wouldn't have done that otherwise. Like I really, I really felt for him, and I really believed him, and I like had that love for him. So mm -hmm. it was kind of. Yeah, I know. Looking back, I'm no, like, it's like say, we but... do that. There was like, oh, we feel really sorry for you that you put your dick in someone else. I'm, I just feel so <laughs> bad for you. Like, <laughs> I know, I know, it's so bad. I think I was just so like, I'm such an emotional person, and I always try to see the best in people, and yeah. I like, we I think I forgive yeah. too quickly in that sense, and mm -hmm. yeah, I obviously did. Um, and then the time went on, like six months was great, and then it kind of started to get a little bit more like weird again but it was it was kind of like it wasn't as like high and lows before it's kind of a little bit like this it just mm -hmm. wasn't it wasn't great it was just it was fine. Kind of like coasting coasting exactly it was very that i moved to cardiff for uni eventually was dropping out like a few months later and i was like look i'm dropping out of uni and kind of 
need to start like a new kind of chapter in my life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I kind of called it off. And then a couple of weeks later, he said, look, I really miss you, miss spending time with you, miss all of this. Can we go for a drink or something at the end of like the month? And I was like, yeah, like, but why not? Like, let's do that. And then that was March, 2020 lockdown happened so we shut down so we couldn't go for drinks so we just started talking like normal like we were still mm -hmm. kind of together I guess and then in like May he then broke up with me from that point and I was so upset because I was upset before I was upset at the other time when we were going to break up and then it was like this is like a roller coaster like yeah you this is like so I don't it's so just like it's just a lie like you've mm -hmm. let me kind of let you back into my life mm -hmm. when I was in a strong place and now when I'm kind of quite vulnerable when I let you back in you're just taking that away from me again and I was like, what the fuck? Kind like, of just keep picking you up and putting you back down mm. and then picking you up. and like, When it, when it a... suits him mm. and it's kind of... Living for the drama. Mm. It's, just, it's the ego. It's like yeah. he's living to boost his kind of... Yeah, it, would, it felt really awful for me. Like that really broke my heart. I was so upset and mm. so, you, so painful. Do you think he cared? Because I always wonder, like, do they... Like people that do that, do they care? You don't think they You don't. Cared? Well, I later found out about a few months later, I was in my psycho mode and I'd never do this ever again, but Sherlock Holmes in it on Instagram. You know when you're like, <laughs> all, all of the so likes. Not to, I'm so happy they removed that liked by feature ages ago. Cause at the time I was like, oh yeah, I remember that. Do you remember? That? Yeah, where well, you could see everything. Like you could who see, couldn't you, pictures? who liked your pictures. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah, really? That was yeah, dangerous. Yeah. It's yeah. like a history of it all. And you're like, oh my God. Yeah. yeah but it, I was like, advocate on that it was, it was like, I was, for me, it was sad to look back on how kind of crazy I made myself. Yeah. Mm. But, from that, I kind of then started to have like a weird intuition again, like that he was seeing this, he's like an um, influencer, I guess. And I just had a weird feeling. Then one day, it's like two weeks after, three weeks after we broke up, I was on um, influencers friend's Instagram. Don't ask how I got there. But you know, it was just like the click, click, yeah, click, click. Yeah, and I could hear um, Bob's voice in the background. And I was just like, wow. Oh, so they're together, together. And then on this person's Instagram, I started seeing... Bob's car and like Bob mm. kind of together and I was like wow and then they started posting uh, but this was like four weeks after I saw this they started posting all together and stuff I can't lie like at the time it really fucked with my self-worth because it's like mm. seeing like these thousands if not like tens of thousands of likes and they, yeah. all these comments so happy for you guys and these are like other people who were commenting like I'd looked up to as well that I'd followed for like and a long, like, long time and you're like he was with me literally like a few weeks ago L literally it was, the, it was the most kind of like yeah really like fucked to myself wow it really made me feel like shit and yeah, and you, he imagine. would have known that you'd see that as well wouldn't he well yeah when they eventually posted it yeah. like obviously i'm gonna see it like because yeah. my friends like followed follow this influencer mm. and, like i i know who he is like yeah like my phone blew up like people messaged me like oh my god you guys have broken up didn't even realize like what the fuck he moved on quick and all this sort which of is stuff. probably not really helping you right because in mm. some ways you you can compartmentalize what's going on because it's your life and it's happening in, in real time for you but when you get almost like all these messages yes it confirms like that you're not in the wrong or, or not thinking you know that you're not not making stuff up yeah but also it's just a constant reminder isn't it it's like okay now i get i get it yes he's definitely with fucking the other guy <laughs> thank you for confirming yeah. again it's like ugh. i mean how do you like you recognize now that this isn't a you thing this is a him thing right like you because you said your self-worth was affected so like are you over it oh you, babe like... i'm great oh, i'm good. loving okay. this is this is the old austin the thing is i look back at this and i'm like i'm so happy all this shit happened because if people want to move on and be messy that is their loss at the end of the day and did you ever hear from him again after you broke up? Girl, let me tell you. I heard <laughs> from him. I heard from him. So I didn't speak to This is like 2020. It got to the end of the year. I was like, do you know what? They look happy. Good for them. I'm yeah. going to move 2021. I'm going to be slaying. going to be living my life. <laughs> and I did. And then it got to October last year. So 2022. I get a message from Bob. I haven't spoken to this man since 2020. Like May. Wow. Long story short, he was trying to get me to go to Bristol to have a hookup and I was like have you have you fallen and hit your head like <laughs> what, what Bob man like come on come off of it please um kept trying to do this he's like yeah I'll pay for your uber from London and I was I've got a free house you can come in the hot tub we can have a catch-up and I was like grinder is for that if you want to hook yeah. up like don't yeah. come running but back also to me. did it kind of like make you feel a little bit validated that like you kind of moved on with your life and he's like sliding in like years down the line like oh, i've got a hot tub i'll, I'll pay for yeah you i'm lonely yeah. again <laughs> i've run out I of can't other get people anyone else. literally yeah. and i kept saying that to him i was like why me like why did you want me and i and i was wanted him to basically be like 
oh, I've asked everyone else. Yeah. But he was like, oh, no, I just feel like we had a really special... So saying what I wanted to hear, and I was just like, oh, yeah. Bob, I can't a be asked special connection. Yeah. But the week after that, he was in London, and I thought... Oh, did you meet up with him? I met up with him. Oh, and no, No, but the thing is, the whole, like, the whole evening, like... It is sound. This sounds really weird, but like I was in control of it, yeah. and like the whole relationship, yeah. I kind of felt he was in control of me, and I was in the palm of his hand. Mm -hmm. And like I saw him, and I kind of like I wouldn't say confronted. I just said to him, like, "You made me feel bad about this, by the way. You two tequilas in, by the way. So mm, we're getting a little bit course. getting a little bit rowdy." <laughs> and um, and I just basically said, like, "Oh, why didn't you message all these other guys?" And he was like, "Oh, what do you mean?" And I was like, "Oh, you know, like." xyz all the names who he cheated on me with the first time mm -hmm. he was gooped he was like oh and yeah. then he was also running his mouth and about how bad his relationship was and how it was all fake it was all for show and how he was so unhappy and all this sort of stuff and i was kind of like that's really sad to hear but i made myself feel shit about how happy you guys yeah. were yeah, yeah so yeah. it's kind of a, it was a very full circle moment and a very um it was so weird seeing him because it was like it was like a stranger it was like a stranger mm. i knew so much about i mm. felt nothing towards him it was great so now are you like if you feel like single you've like, and slain yeah i'm i'm single and slain i love it <laughs> okay I well, love we it. like that love that we're, love we're here for can all i also that. just add about uh, bob and co they're back yeah. together now as well um, Oh, so, they were so unhappy that they're so back unhappy. That it's just when I see that, and I'm just like, you know oh what, Bob? Oh my god, this is you ridiculous. get your life, you get your judge, like yeah. you do your thing. He just wanted the lifestyle, like the influencer lifestyle, mm. like going away and doing all this stuff. But yeah, it's just, oh, just well, you know what, Bob? Go live that life. Yeah, yeah, you do, you, Bob. Austin's here, slaying yeah, away. Exactly. We love Bob in in a weird way. Do we? I like I, res I respect like I don't think he's a bad person. I just think he's like stupid. He, just he doesn't, doesn't always know, know what he wants. Yeah, there's mm -hmm. too many. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. Before we start with Elliot, should we have a quick break? Yeah, let's come definitely back? have a little water break. I feel like we're getting a lot of bobs. I feel like there's a lot of bobs out there making people very unhappy and very sad. I know, I think I just hate the way, like, Austin just seems so lovely mm -hmm. and it just makes you question yourself yeah rather than wondering why they're doing the thing we all seem to internalize it yeah and on the outside you can see that but when it's you all you can think is it's me yeah fuck bob elliot <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> mine was kind of well mine was recent to be fair there was this uh this girl we met just because we worked together and it was right after I'd been like um, uh, been straight through like a crazy breakup. So I was like, I don't know, you know, when you come out of a breakup and it's like the world is new. You're like, whoa, like mm. it's, I can't even explain it. Like, well, we've all been through it. Like we've all had it. And I, yeah, I met this girl and I didn't really fancy her. She... You weren't looking, let's say. No, no, like, no, not yeah. all. Yeah. I mean, half the time I, I'm I'm not always, do you know what I mean? Like I'm, I'm more that grind mentality at the moment. But we just hit it off. We bounced off each other. And yeah, like I liked her, but I didn't like her that way. You know when like, you know the eyes, like when they give you the look. I was like, mm -hmm. oh yeah, she likes me. <laughs> <laughs> but I was like, I don't know what it is like. What's the look? I don't know what the eyes are now. You don't know the eyes? No, what's the eyes? No, you know the eyes. No, 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 I'm no. not doing the eyes. You know the eyes. Like, <laughs> I could see your eyes the other week. Okay, oh, so wow. she gets the eyes from you. But that wasn't intentional. This is why I need to know what the eyes are so I don't do it for the yeah, wrong but I people. I think you just can't like help it. So it's basically like dribbling oh. and like it's yeah, <laughs> yeah. Is that okay? Oh, just yeah. like giving like inside thinking, oh yeah, and it just comes through your eyes, doesn't um, it? Like okay. smizing, Good. like smizing. Little sexy eyes. Okay. I think you just know. Yeah, okay. like so you, you were getting know. the eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like okay. big time, and I was like, okay. Uh, so yeah, like I I really liked hanging out with her. So I was like, right, we're working together. Like we're getting stuff done, whatever. Uh, and then uh, we ended up like hooking up, and I was like, yeah, fair. Um, fair. Yeah. <laughs> like, it Great wasn't like a big it was deal. Fair. It was all right. It was yeah, beige. Yeah, like it wasn't like a. Beige. <laughs> beige. Fair. Beige. Giving beige. Oh, God. <laughs> it wasn't beige, actually. I'm not going to say that, but uh, <laughs> yeah, I felt like that's an insult. I'm not going to be doing that. That came yet. from me. It didn't come from Elliot. It was beige um, yeah. as fuck. <laughs> oh, no, no. I would never say that, no. But, um, no. So you hooked up. It was just fair. Then what? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> then, uh, what was it? She invited me back to hers. Um, and I stayed, basically stayed with her for like two days. Even um, though you weren't really into her? No, at this point, I was kind of like, okay, maybe, yeah. But like, yeah, I, it wasn't like anything majorly like, oh my God, do you know what I mean? Like, I do you believe in love at first sight? I don't. Like, that sounds dramatic anyway. But like, I, I'm not like, some people like they hook up and they're like, oh my God, like, 
I have to like be with them all the time. And at that point, I just wasn't. I was just like, you know, it is what it is. Um, it was a grower. <laughs> Yeah, a what? A grower. Oh, a grower. I think you said a thrower. I was like, no, 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 no. Not that guy, not that guy. No. <laughs> language barrier here today. Uh, but yeah, she just like ghosted me and I was like, what the hell? Um, and I was like, that's rude. And like, I was actually going to angrily message her. And not like angrily, but be like, like, what are you playing at? Like, call her out. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but I didn't end up doing that. I was just like, you know what? I, I've got other stuff to be kind of doing. <laughs> so I just, I don't even know what I did. It was like two months. We just didn't talk. That's odd. It yeah. is, isn't it? Yeah. What do you think the reason for that was? Well, I didn't know at the time. And I, I, it was like you were saying, like, I was getting a bit self-conscious. I was like, is it me? Like, it's, it's, yeah, like, yeah. I don't know. So two months of nothing, and then she just... Out of nowhere, it went from absolutely nothing to her just in my DMs, just every day, just talking to me constantly, like, phoning me all the time at stupid times in the night. And I was like, oh. Back in the DMs. Slams on the fucking gas. What? Like, And yeah. what did she say? Hi, how have you been? Like, yeah, like, loads sorry, of, loads of texts, like... Otter pictures, like, oh, like you name it, like, I don't know. Um, otter pictures? <laughs> like, me. like, you mean a natural yeah, otter? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not I didn't otter. know if that was some new kid yeah, no, way of, like, yeah. naked pictures or something. <laughs> what, like a naked otter? <laughs> no, like, it was, like, I thought it was, like, code word for <laughs> code something. Word yeah, for something. Yeah. Yeah. What, would that, like, what would that be? <laughs> Oh, wait, no, no, that's, that's that, was, that yeah, 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 I was I'm No, sure. I realised what you thought that meant. I no, basically no, an old lady, God. I don't know. Otter could be <laughs> could another be word. Let's not yeah. start yeah. that because I can't, no. no. So no okay. I mean, picks. you came in with the beige, so I'm like, maybe yeah. that's a picture of me. No, 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 we're not well. starting the otter okay, cool. picture. Although I think I might use it now. Oh, God, no. Come on, otter. Fucking get in. I can't, no. No? I can't. Oh, no, let's not. Okay, so there's no vagina pic. That's it. That's it. Okay, that's a pic. Yeah. Yeah. So but, she's back on you, giving it all the big in. Did you yeah. like, you know, make her work for it a bit? Were you like, well, where have you been for the last couple of Well, yeah, months? of course. Because I, I don't know, like, I'm not rude, but like, I'm I'm blunt sometimes where I'm just like, what are you doing? Mm. You know what I mean? It's just rude. It is rude to just ghost someone for two months. It is. So do you feel like it made you more into her then? Because like, you were like, oh, it was fair. So you didn't obviously went like that massively it into it. Then she of... disappeared for a bit. Was you like, uh, you like, know? okay. I like her now. Yeah, in a way, because it keeps you on your toes. But yeah, she was just always talking to me. And I was like, right, fine. Like, we'll like start talking again. Like, she was being nice. I was like, I'll be nice, whatever. And then she kind of uh, let me know that she'd like been hanging out with this guy. And she was like talking about him. She's like, oh, his like granddad's in a famous band. Like, he's going to take me like backstage and stuff on these like, like to these tours. And I was like, who the hell is this guy? I was like, mm. How is he? I don't know. Was she showing off? Kind of, yeah. That's like so it, she, she, she was a bit like suddenly like just glam. And I was like, right. yeah. I was so like, why was she back on you then if she's like got this other guy and why is she telling you? This is what confused me. I was like, are you now treating me like the best friend? Like what's going on? I was like, I don't want to kind of like shift mm. into that. Or is she trying to make you jealous? Or like, yeah, what, what's like, she I doing? I literally couldn't really work it out. I see her Instagram story. She's like going to all these crazy concerts and there's like just crazy stuff suddenly happening and I'm just like, whoa. Yeah. Um, I just, I think I really bluntly, I was like, can I take you out to dinner? And then, because What like, made I, you do that? Because now you're like... I, I was like, wanna... who is this guy? Like, yeah. <laughs> who is this guy? Yeah, I was like... I like this though. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, was, I, I don't know. I had to who throw the something in the, in the game. You know what I mean? Yeah. Did she say yes? Yeah, yeah, Straight up. She just said yes. I was like, cool. Um, so then, She's confusing me now. She's really yeah. confusing yeah. me. Yeah. I'm glad it's not just me because no. literally I had like numbers going Can we call her... her, her what's her I name? Feel what's her like... My, my take I'll give her a name. Not her name name. Otter. Otter. Okay. Otter chick. My like take on it maybe is that she liked you but met this guy and it was exciting because he was inviting her to things that she wouldn't yeah. necessarily get to go to meeting people and she's like i can get that from this guy but still had a bit of a thing for you maybe yeah you know what i mean yeah and i think she wanted you to like her as well yeah to share all this to suddenly bombard you i that's the part that confuses me i'm just wondering yeah. if it was going a little bit wrong with him that's what i think i think yeah. maybe he started like getting groupies or something and like turning to them and she was like oh well i'm just gonna go to the next Next guy in the Back roster. To Elliot. Yeah. 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 You know, yeah. That went down well last so, time. And I'm so. like, I'm not that guy. I don't like waiting around and stuff like that. So I'm just. So what was the dinner like then? Oh, it was great. Guy? The thing is, like, we didn't really even talk about him, but we did talk about like places she'd been. Good. To I'm glad you fucking talk about him. Yeah. Oh no, imagine if that would be like, yeah, weird. That would be weird. It was like after I paid the bill as well, and she was like, "Oh yeah, and he's my boyfriend." And I was like, what? Oh. What? I was like "And I was like, I was literally like, what? after the bill." I love that. Yeah. After I yeah. paid the bill, She's gonna let you she pay. knew what she was doing. So basically, literally, yeah, <laughs> she heard that you. beep, and then it was like game on. Yeah. But, oh, Otter chick. Uh, yeah, yeah. So I was uh, just like, this is just, uh, yeah. I don't really even know what to. It's, but I wanted her basically. I was like, I don't know what it was. Like, I wanted her even more. I was like, well, after she said she's got, she's with. 
Maybe. Yeah, when it was like official, I have no idea, like idea why. It's like you want what you can't have. And yeah, stuff yeah, like yeah. That. Oh, that's so. And then really? were you just like, was that it? Then you were just like, no, like that wasn't even the end of the night. Because after that, I was like, I just like you're like, okay, game on, let's yeah. go. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, yeah, you're yeah. doing crazy shit. Let's do something crazy. <laughs> um, we found this like abandoned, uh, like uh, it's this nice building in London. I'm not gonna like get myself arrested or anything yeah. uh but yeah we <laughs> kind of broke into it and climbed up to the rooftop and it was like a whole maze trying to get up there and stuff but it was just like it was fun like we were a little mm. bit drunk we were just laughing and stuff we had this like crazy night where we were just like having like deep chats like up on this rooftop like with a crazy view was of, it like... flirty yeah 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 this is what i mean it sounds she... romantic it yeah. Was. Yeah. That's yeah. What I'm saying. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you don't do that with like Margaret next door like you nah. you know what I mean yeah it's like yeah, yeah 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 we were like getting deep and like talking about emotions and whatever and um yeah it was just so confusing because the whole time I'm literally thinking like you have a boyfriend but like she was like touching up on me and stuff and like being like grabbing my hand and like all <sighs> flirts like we'd be like because we sat next to each other just like staring at the view at one point and literally she was like you know that little like that little move it's not really a move I don't know why I'm saying it like that but like I don't know the little Where hands the little hand, sort of like yeah, touch, but like not brushing touch. up against yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 doing all of that, and I'm just like, why are you doing that? Like, I don't do that with my friends, and if I did, it would be like too Weird. much. Yeah. yeah, nothing like happened that night, but I was just so confused. So, how and did you leave it that night then? What? Like, I I told her how I felt. I was like, I like you and stuff, and okay. she was like, well, yeah, like sorry, like you know the you know ship sailed or whatever. What? Jesus Christ! Yeah. The biggest head fuck I yeah. think I have. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that is headphones. And like, I'm after just gonna that, flirt with you the whole night, and then just remind you that the ship has sailed. Yeah, it didn't make sense. I had this romantic moment. It sounds romantic. Yeah, like, I yeah. kind of want to have that. Like, just yeah. at the top of like this, the sky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, literally, gonna have to let Austin know where this place is. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Was it the spots, shark? Yeah. Where was it? <laughs> <laughs> it was the shark. But um, <laughs> and we, yeah, we were up till like three a.m. just like chatting and hanging out, and then um. Oh, that was it. She just ghosted me again after that night. Wouldn't talk to me, and I was so confused. All I see on her story. Her at these concerts, nah. meeting famous people, and I'm just like, what? Like, it just doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Then I found out uh, he took her on that tour. She met loads of people, and then uh, she literally broke up with him. <laughs> she just uh, she broke up with him, and then she started talking to me again oh, and like telling me, oh, like yeah, it was fun, but like he never did this and he never did that, and he was always really boring and like everyone hated him. And I was like, what? Like, what do you want me to say? Like, do you want me to cry? Like, I'm not yeah. going to. Yeah, I don't know. Mm. So do you feel like you learn anything from that situation? Like, let go, you know what I mean? Like You or her? Well, both of us, to be fair, mm. yeah. Mm. <laughs> mm. But, well, me, just because like, I was like, I learned that I can enforce, like, boundaries. Like, I'm not going to, well, I am going to chase a little bit. I don't know, but. Do you know what's really sexy? And I was talking to someone about this recently, is discipline. When someone is disciplined and says no, it, well, it's the chasing, right? They say no, and you're like, oh, well, I think I want you. But when you stick to your boundaries to your decision that would make otter girl come back that would make bob come back a million times over mm -hmm. but it's how you have to be really strong in making that boundary and if you're setting it you can't you can't cross your own boundary see what i'm saying so it's like it's a hard no yeah i agree because it mm -hmm. sounds like what we all do is, you know, our exes come back and we're like oh i'll just try it one more time they always come mm -hmm. back though, i'll just yeah. try it again because they see you get moving on but if we could just Keep the boundary. There's a reason why you broke up in the first place. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Why are we going back? No. I think people just do, though. I think you forget the bad stuff. Of course you do. It's the first idea, all, isn't it? Yeah, the grass is always greener. And, like, I do don't you know. It's, win? it's comfort as well, I think. Yeah, I think yeah. there's there's one thing where it's, like, you know them. You've been there. You kind of know how it works. It's easier than getting to know someone. And then I do think there are in some, like, I'm guessing with you, with this guy, was it almost like you wanted to win her back? Yeah, I wanted like, to win. You're yeah. like, which is not great, but it everyone's been there, right? Yeah, I think we all have. And it is nice to be liked. So when someone likes you, no matter even if, you know, we're trying to play the hard to get thing, like the ex comes back, it feeds our fucking ego. We're like, mm, it feels, mm, good. It feels yeah, really nice. nice. <laughs> like, keep feeding me more. I need more, more, more But battles. you know when people say like, oh, I just need closure. I just like, I feel like as I've got older, closure, you can't get it from someone else. You've got to get it. So you've true. got to get it yourself. Well, so I agree. But your situation in particular, sound is, I'm sorry, Austin, no one knows who I'm talking to right now. <laughs> I think it, your, you know, your last meet with Bob, that felt like closure because you were in control. So it's like, I'm just going to tie this little knot. I'm going to yeah, get what I need. he took that closure himself. You took the power yeah. back. Yeah. yeah. But it was, I didn't need it. Like for me, I was so happy. Like I'd really moved on, lived my life and I got to the point where I was so happy for them. Yeah. So it was like, it was almost, it was literally like a bow on top. Like I'd made my present, I'd mm. got my closure and then that scene him and 
meeting him and not feeling anything, it was literally the little mm-hmm. the cherry Were you on really top. Really happy for them. <laughs> yeah. Genuinely, honestly, because it got to the point of mine and Bob's relationship where we just weren't happy together. Mm, and yeah. I I didn't want to admit that. And I don't think he did either in the end. I mean, it just kind of took him meeting someone else to kind of have that yeah. thing. So in the end, like obviously about a year later, I was like, Do you know what? For what it was, I'm so happy for you because we just weren't happy. Yeah. Mm. Mm. And Elliot, do you feel the same way about <laughs> no, what I go? <laughs> no, the thing is, I just think nobody wins in that situation. And it's just like, what's the point? Like, I don't like my time being wasted, basically. Mm. Y- you don't need the closure. But like, it's nice to get it because then you're like, oh, okay, you're like, I'm not the issue, whatever. But like, just move on. That's the easiest. Just don't talk to them. Just... So in mm. hindsight, which is, we all love looking back, would you have stopped it at the first like the first, um, when she ignored you, that when you spent two days with her, would you maybe stopped it there? Thing is, uh, do you know what I mean? But they have such a way of just wriggling you back into the situation. Like, yeah. I don't know what it is. I don't know what this is. Like. It's like a superpower. Like, somehow I'm just, like, invested again. It's I'm called like, pussy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that word. No. It's you, called vagina. It's called otter. otter. It's otter. <laughs> we no. don't say the p word. Okay, otter. That's what it's called. Yeah, yeah. God's sakes. I think we should end on that note. Okay, we're ending yeah. it. There we go. No, we're yeah. like, carrying on. I feel no, like no, it wrapped no, up no, quite no. nicely there, no? On the p word, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> should we end it on that? <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you guys. No worries. Thanks, yeah. guys. Sharing what you have, and um, you know, <laughs> good luck. Yeah, good luck. Yeah, yeah. we do need yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much for listening. You know that little follow button on your screen? If you just tap that, and then if you wouldn't mind just leaving us a review, maybe a five star, that will go down really well. From Podomo and 2020, this has been First Dates Podcast, hosted by me, Frankie Bridge. And me, Cece Coleman. The producers are Blondin Hogue and Fionn Lewis. The video producer is Rob Walsh. The executive producers for Podomo are Jake Chudnow and Matt White. The executive producer for 2020 is Martin Tricky. Special thanks to Bruna Pias, Kendra Steve, and Fatima Patea. For ad-free episodes, subscribe to Podomo UK on Apple Podcasts. Mm-hmm.